Andrew and Julian's here. Today we're at Tom's Barbecue in Mesa, Mesa, basically Phoenix, Arizona, to do their big Tom's Barbecue Challenge. The all-in challenge, we call it, the full house, the full house. Now, where am I? I'm actually in the bathroom. Why? Because they have the poster for the challenge on the wall. So basically it is um, three of their massive sandwiches, one being pork, brisket, and then chicken, and then an extra, extra large, like two pounds of freaking onion rings. She says two pounds of French fries. So overall, this is about an eight pound challenge. You have 30 minutes to complete it. And if you complete it in 30 minutes, you get the meal for free. If not, it is $32, which is pretty reasonable. And if you win, you actually get the meal free and $32. So why are you in the bathroom besides the poster for the bathroom or the poster for the challenge being in bathroom? Because look at this guy. This is the coolest bathroom, bathroom I've ever seen in my life. I can't talk. Look at this. It's in the freaking Coke machine. So I literally walked around the corner and I was like, okay, wait, where's the bathroom? Everybody, look at this. Legit, Coke machine? The bathroom is in the Coke machine. All right, that's freaking cool. So anyway, let's uh, have some fun, let's eat some food. Wish us luck, I'm definitely gonna need it. It's been a long day and uh, this will be a big challenge. All right, everyone, so here we are with the challenge. Uh, definitely a lot, a lot of food. These are very dense, heavy sandwiches because they are soaked in cheese. There's also a whole bunch of sweet peppers and stuff in here. I didn't know those sweet peppers, onions, all that stuff. So we have the uh, pulled pork, the chicken, then the brisket, and then I have the brick. Yes, it is a literal square brick of French fries, and then the onion straws here. I do have some ketchup. I have some barbecue sauce as well, Tom's house-made barbecue sauce. The breads are crispy and toasted, and that's about that. So, 32 minutes, not 30, 32 minutes. Um, wish us luck, and... How about we get started? Let's say the count of five, four, I may just use my hands, but three, two, one, let us eat. Chicken, peppers, it's actually still very hot. I tried to wait a while for it to cool down, but. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Tom's Barbecue taking on the Full House Challenge. So this is actually a pretty big challenge, like surprisingly large. Um, as you see, we have what is basically three uh, full size subs. Um, they kind of refer to them more like cheesesteaks. That's basically what I would describe it. Like they call them barbecue sandwiches slash arguably sandwiches, but I would classify them as cheesesteaks as all of them are cooked with cheese, um, onions, and basically some peppers in there as well. So basically cheesesteak. I'm gonna put some water on that, let it soak a bit. Put some good cheese on. Definitely. So there's a braised pulled pork, I don't think it's smoked. It is moist. Now then, of course, we had the chicken, we had the beef, and we had the uh, pork, the pulled pork um, sandwiches, um, or cheesesteaks, we'll call them, plus a literal brick of fries. Like, you see those fries, it's actually a brick. Um, and then, of course, the large number of onion straws or onion rings, however you want to call them, basically deep fried onions. Um, so pretty interesting challenge. Again, the prize actually is a free meal and $32, which I think is pretty cool. And then, of course, you have 32 minutes to complete it. 
Um, overall, I would say this is probably like a very, very high intermediate to expert level challenge. Again, it is approximately about eight pounds of food according to the waitress herself, um, about eight pounds of food. And again, only about 30 minutes, 32 minutes. Um, and it, they aren't the easiest foods to eat. Like that is literally a compressed brick of fries. You have onion straws. And then again, the sandwiches themselves actually take quite a bit of time. The meats were quite soft, quite tender, but still required definitely some chewing. And then of course we have all the breads as well. And just over three minutes in, almost three and a half, I believe. Now the brisket. So this I am getting some like charcoal flavors, some little smoke flavors. Tom's was a really interesting place because it is called like a barbecue restaurant, but the only um, meat that I kind of found to have a little bit of smoke flavor to it was potentially the brisket. And it was more like a charcoal like grill flavor rather than like a smoky flavor. And then the place itself, I think, is supposed to be like Chicago, like a Chicago based Chicago theme because they had like the advertisements for Italian beef. Um, again, kind of just the way they had these sandwiches slash hoagies slash, you know, cheesesteaks, whatever you want to call them. And they had other references to Chicago on the inside. And then again, kind of like almost references to, I want to say like, you know, again, like hidden bathrooms, almost like mob plus gambling, like, you know, again, the name of this challenge, like the all in, um, again, overall a really unique restaurant. The bathroom, I seriously think is the coolest bathroom I've ever seen in my life. Um, but yeah, definitely a unique, unique, unique restaurant. Um, I was there, uh, pretty close to closing. So, you know, I kind of had some, uh, pretty good attention from the waitress herself. The staff were very kind and courteous. Um, I did not have to call in advance to do the challenge, but I will say that there, although there are about three or four locations in and around kind of Mesa slash Phoenix, um, this was the only one that I knew of that offered the challenge and some definitely did not. It is a lot of fries. Yeah. This place also has like some strong Italian themes and you know, caveats, hence like the Italian beef. We got some Chicago Bears memorabilia around. And this reminds me like, almost like a cheesesteak hoagie kind of thing. Why? I don't think so. Peppers, onions, mushrooms. All right. Next. The fries, the onion straws, and all the bread. Ah, Ooh. that is cold. You don't know, I don't know that. This is where things are going to get interesting. And I think we're coming on about eight minutes in. Or seven minutes? Seven minutes. All right. Wish me luck. Break of fries. How would you do that? Oh, Ooh. oh my god. Definitely greasy and salty. Oh man. So there's a puddle of oil on the bottom of the tray. Lubricate it.
maybe it's because I'm just not familiar with it, but comment down below if you've ever seen a brick of fries served like that, or you've ever been served fries in a brick. Um, so <laughs> comment down below hashtag brick, or just hashtag no. Um, Cause like I said, I've never seen fries really served like a brick like this, um, but maybe it is a normal thing somewhere. I just am not aware of it, so I want to just, you know, kind of be open and because, uh, like I said, maybe I just haven't been exposed to it. So, like I said, comment down below, hashtag brick or hashtag no. Uh, just because, like I said, pretty interesting to get a brick of fries, but hey, it was definitely part of the challenge um, and literally they were right about a brick. Like I said, well lubricated. Tastes good with ketchup, though. But ultimately, I believe that's all the info I really have for you. Again, we're going for that free meal. Oh, also, and a free t-shirt. Um, but otherwise, that's pretty much about it. So let's see if we can tune on in. Um, hopefully, we can complete this meal. Definitely a difficult one, especially late at night. This was very late at night. Um, and so I was feeling pretty tired, and this was very, very difficult, I was finding. So let's tune on in. Let's see if we can complete this challenge, and let's get going. All right, fries are done. That was a lot. Literally a brick. I got a burp. Excuse me. Woo. Excuse me. Definitely have some air in there now. Crispy. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of onion straws and fries. All right, about 15-ish minutes in. Lots of bread, lots of bread. Whew. Crunchy. I might want to jump this. I get some water. This is one I wetted earlier. Easy to eat. Excuse me. Can I get, um, can I buy for water and a Diet Coke in the ice? Thank you.
about 19 minutes in or just over. Mm. <sighs> One bread left. Come like 22 minutes, done the last couple of plates. Definitely a lot of bread. It's a lot of food. The lady says like it's eight pounds. She actually told me I also dunked the bread, so shout out for the tip. Anyway, we are done. You guys have the exact time on screen, but I don't know. I think it's just shy of, or around 24 minutes. So, definitely a big challenge. Pretty good, no complaints. So that we do get a meal for free, which is pretty cool. I believe a sweet t-shirt. And $32, which is pretty interesting. So kind of a cool, I don't know, 32, 32, 32. Some, the number 32 must have some importance, I'll put it that way. Um, but yeah, this is at the, again, Mesa location. Huge thanks to staff, it's super cool. And uh, this challenge is not available at all of their locations, although there are multiple locations around Phoenix. So, but yeah, like I said, coolest bathroom ever. No complaints. So with that, everybody, hope you enjoyed today's video. Comment down below if you prefer brisket, pulled pork, or chicken. And guess which one I like. So everyone, of course, like I said, just have a lovely day. Check out JoelEats.com, grab yourself some merch. Hell right. And uh, that, that's it. Have a lovely day, love the night. I'm gonna go to bed here very soon, hopefully. And uh, that's it, guys. Have a lovely day. And here's the t-shirt. We got Tom's Barbecue. And on the back, we got a butt. No butts about it. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.